Hey everyone, I'm back and this week I'd like to talk about artists who work with multiples. That means the same thing over and over again, making a pattern or making something out of the same thing. So I brought a slideshow to show you the many different ways that artists do this. This piece is by Teresita Fernandez and it's called Sumado. Fernandez is a Cuban American artist living in New York. She was born to parents who were in exile from Cuba. And this is made out of little tiny pieces of graphite fragments. And she's made sort of a constellation here of all these little things. And you can see them much better here. See, she's embedded them into the wall, but also graphite is like pencil lead. So she can, you can make that smear mark on the wall with it. So it's got a little sort of a trail there when you look closely, but then you look at the whole thing and it's like a big constellation. All this is made up of is just those little pieces of graphite. This is Niyepa Niyepa Yunapingo, who's an Aboriginal artist, artist from the Northern Territory of Australia. And she likes to make these repeated marks and symbols. You can see them here. She's repeated this star shape and it's called Guanyu, which means stars. So she keeps repeating this shape and it's a huge painting. You can see her sitting on it. So it's, I mean, that was just a portion of the painting. And it's made up of all this shape just over and over and over again. And she's unique as an Aboriginal artist because she's working on her own thing from her own inspiration inside. And previously, most Aboriginal artists that were known outside made paintings of sort of the clan's stories, illustrating stories that were passed down in time. And she's moved on to making paintings of things that are important to her and her alone. And this was made with earth pigment. So I imagine that's sort of a, a form of mud, a wet dirt, and she's painting a lot of times on bark. And this one's fiberboard. This is Yuyoi Kusama, and she's a Japanese artist, and she's sometimes called the princess of polka dots. She really likes the dots. She's famous for doing these pumpkins with dots, rooms full of dots that are based on things she saw in her head, hallucinations. And she does a lot of her work to make herself feel better, almost as an art therapy, something to get her feelings out. So I have a couple short video clips here to show you some of the rooms she makes. It's a place where you can go to experience what she wants you to feel. This is the most visited exhibition in the museum's history. This obliteration room started out with no color at all. Museum goers who are given sheets of stickers are encouraged to cover the room in polka dots of every size and color. I saw stickers and we put stickers on the wall. I wish I could have a house like the sticker house. But there's no food there. Sticker food? Hey, polka dots! Polka dots! With rice. I would like to do this whole thing if no one had came up with it before me. One step into the space, and the experience is quite literally limitless. Look at the reflection on the top. From her quirky latest work titled All the Eternal Love I Have for the Pumpkins. No pumpkin patch, I guess. To her earliest mirror display. And on. Oh my gosh. And on. <laughs> Never before have so many of Yoyoi Kusama's captivating infinity mirror rooms been in the same place at the same time. And this is a still picture of one of the infinity rooms you just saw. So you can see inside, it's just dots and mirror so it, you know from the film clip before it's a small box you walk in right it's not like a huge room this looks like it goes on forever 
but it's actually just inside of that small box. And there's all these mirrors reflecting the lights. And these go around and you can go visit them in the museums. And it's really an interesting experience. And this is Adam Hillman. He has a lot of fun with things that he finds just around. And he's an American artist. And you see what shape does he really like here? He's got the lollipops, which are a circle. And then he's made all these nested circles with them. So he's just playing with the progression of the color and also the circle shape. Here he's used Oreo cookies and cut out the icings in different shapes and made a pattern, but he's still, he's using his only material is the cookie, right? And he has these colored squares behind them, but that's it. There's nothing else going on here. He's made a pattern with just the cookie and a little knife to cut out icing. And here's one, what is this? Paper clips, they're bent, they're all bent in one little way. Just that end piece is bent out at a 90 degree angle and he's made this incredible pattern with these. It takes a lot of patience and a steady hand to put these in here. And it's just one repeated shape over and over again. And here's something, if you've been to the Jelly Belly factory, you'll notice down one of the hallways, they have all these paintings that are made up entirely of jelly beans. And they come in so many colors. So you can really make a beautiful painting just out of gluing jelly beans. And it's like a mosaic, a mosaic we've talked about like a piece made up of little tiles all glued and grouted together. So this is a mosaic of jelly beans. So we've seen several artists that work both here and all around the world and work with multiples of a certain shape or a symbol or an object, whether it be drawings of stars, lighted dots or jelly beans, paper clips. They're making pieces of art out of repeating that shape and that pattern over and over in different ways. So what I'd like you to do this week is make a piece of art out of a repeated shape or item. So you can make a sculpture or a, like a mosaic out of an item you have, maybe pennies or beans or rocks that you find outside, anything like that. Or you can do a drawing or a painting, repeating a shape that you find interesting. You could do one with circles, you know, big circles, little circles, fuzzy circles, black ones and red ones and pink ones, all just repeated and arranged in such a way or some sort of symbol that's important to you. So I thought about it for a while and looked around to see what I had. I wanted to do something sculptural. And I saw a basket of clothespins. So I took them and arranged them, played with them for a while to find a good arrangement. And then they ended up like this and made a nice pattern and took some pictures of it. And I really enjoyed the shape of them and how they work together. If I had more, it would have been fun to build a tower too. So I can't wait to see what you do with multiples.